Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking space animation effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create our artwork. So I'm just using Adobe Firefly for this. So I've just put in my keywords and these are the images that it's spit out. I'm pretty happy with this one. So I'm just gonna download this and then open it up in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. Now the thing is I'm gonna create a new document and I'm just gonna set it to the width of my composition. So 1920 by 1080 pixels, just press create. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my downloaded image into here. Cool, so now I've got my picture in here. I'm just gonna make it uh, fit that size. I'm just gonna press enter. The next thing that I need to do is I need to rasterize that layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out that section down here. So I'm just gonna grab the lasso tool and highlight that and then just go to uh, edit content aware fill and it's done a pretty good job. I just want to output it to the current layer and then just press OK. So now that I have that, now we need to cut out the spaceman. Now there's a few ways that we can do this, um, but the quickest way is to go to the object selection tool and then you can highlight and click. And if you hold shift, you can highlight the second section as well. Now it's not perfect. So what we need to do is we need to fix up some of these things by going into the quick selection tool. And then if you just drag over the areas that you want to add, you can. So try to spend a little bit uh, of time in here doing that. And if you don't want any areas, you can hold option and then it will subtract them for you. So for example, now we have his leg there and you should really zoom in and, you know, go through this a little bit uh, with precision. So now once we have that, it's quite easy to get him out. We can just cut and then we can create a new layer. And now he's there on that new layer. But now we, we're left with dealing with the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the lasso tool and it's going to be a similar thing to what we've done at the start of this uh, Photoshop uh, image. And then I'm just going to highlight that spaceman and then just go to edit uh, content aware film and then just play around with some of the settings. For example, if you go into color adaptation, all right, and if you change some of these things, you can see that the result, how it looks, and you know, maybe you can change the rotation adaptation as well. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as there's no glaring gaps and you want to output to the current layer, just press OK. And so now we have a clean, spaceman and a background and now all we have to do is export it so i'm just going to start with the spaceman first make sure that you've isolated the layout go to file export as png and then do the same for your background so now here we are in after effects and what we need to do is we need to create a new composition i'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document 30 fps at a duration of about five seconds let's press ok so now those you know images that we had before what we need to do is we need to import them so i'm just going to right click go import file and now i've imported them into my composition so i'm just going to drag them to my timeline and I'm, obviously I'm gonna put the spaceman above the background just so it looks something like that. And now we can actually get started on the cool animation. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these um, two layers into 3D layers. Now, if you don't see that, you can hit toggle switches, make sure that they're 3D layers. We're gonna go to the background and we're gonna create a parallax effect. So I'm gonna press um, P for position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move around this final value in Z space. So I'm gonna bring that up to probably, let's say around about 2000-ish or so. And that will put a little bit of space between the spaceman and the background. Then what we can do is we can just scale it up by pressing S and I'm just gonna go a little bit bigger than the actual composition. The spaceman, if you want to scale him down as well, you can, so up to you. Or you can even go and press P for position and you can move him around also in Z space. But anyways, once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a camera. So I'm just gonna go with a default 35 mil camera. It's gonna press OK. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the camera settings and we're gonna have a play around with some of these things over here. So I'm gonna click the stopwatch on position. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change a few of these things around. For example, 
maybe I will start the animation a little bit to the left over there and maybe even I'll rotate it up slightly and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to probably about halfway of my five seconds and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the spaceman in and then I'm going to just change up the camera settings just so that the spaceman fills the entire frame so then i'm going to go back to the spaceman and i'm just going to scale him down a bit and we're going to see what we've got there so now we have a cool parallax kind of effect with the spaceman and the background now obviously the background is too small there so we can just go back to the scale settings and we can make it a little bit bigger and now we have a nice rotating spaceman and space in the background so now to make this look even better we can go around and change some of these uh, angles and views so if you go to two views and set your camera to left what we can do is making sure that you're on that frame over there you can now frame up where you want your um, animation to begin and end and once you're happy with all of that then you can move on to the next part so what we're going to do is we're going to take that first keyframe we're going to go to the end of that composition and so now it kind of goes in and then comes back out we're going to highlight all of those keyframes go to animation keyframe uh, assistant we're going to easy ease those keyframes we're going to go to the graph editor and what we're going to do is we're just going to give that a little bit of acceleration all right now you don't have to go too crazy here but this will have a dramatic effect with the camera and so now if you preview that so now the guy comes in and then he slowly goes back out and i think that's looking pretty cool so now what we're going to do is we are going to add some kind of twist rotation animation so if we play around with this what we're going to do is we're going to create some kind of movement on that Z rotation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an expression for this. I'm gonna hold option and I'm gonna hit that stopwatch and I'm gonna write wiggle, open brackets. Let's go one comma, maybe 10. Let's try this and see what this looks like. Now you can see that um, when the animation is happening, the background is still too small. So you're gonna have to go back to that scale and make sure that there are no black areas. And so now that's looking pretty cool, but it's just a bit too fast. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to drop down that to maybe like six, and we're even gonna drop down the initial bit to let's say 0.8, so it doesn't actually wiggle as much. And so now we have a cool wiggle animation on the spaceman and that space scene and i think that's looking pretty cool it's going to go back to my one view the next thing that we're going to add is we're going to add some text so i'm just going to go right click and go add a new text layer and i'm just going to write spaceman in here i'm using the hammer scout font and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to scale that down and make it a little bit smaller and then what i can do is i can put it to wherever i like now we're going to do the same thing here we're going to turn that into a 3d layer and once you've turned it into a 3d layer now it's gotten a little bit bigger so what we can do is we can either press p for position and just move it in z space and let's say we'll put it maybe over here and then as you go through your entire animation you can see what's happening there so that's looking pretty cool and you've got the spaceman in the background and the final thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to add some final touches so the first final touch that we're going to do is we're going to add a adjustment layer and what we're going to do is I'm just going to put it on top of everything. I'm going to search for the effect called CC Radial Fast Blur. And what I'm going to do is now you can play around with how much blur. So you can even animate that if you like. But I'm going to hit it at around about 55. Now I only want it on the edges. So what I can do here is I can just, you know, hold command and double click that ellipse icon. 
And if you've done that correctly, now it's blurred everything on the inside. So what we want to do is we want to just change that to inverted. And we're just going to bring up the feather just so it's a little bit smoother in comparison to the edges over there. So now what we have is now we have a nice, you know, text with a background animation and we're just going to keep adding things to it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some particles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my file and then I'm just going to drag it to my timeline over here. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make sure that that's a 3D layer as well. And then I'm going to go to toggle switches and change the blend mode to let's say screen. And so now we have these cool particles that are also tracked to that camera movement. And that's looking really, really nice. And so the final adjustment layer that we're gonna do is we are just going to add some noise in here. So if I just search for the effect called noise and maybe bump that up to about 6%, that's looking pretty cool. And also what we can do is we can just go to our text and add some drop shadow if you want and then just increase the distance just so that we can see our text a little bit better and then once you have all of that you now have a cool animation that was created from ai so anyways guys uh i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video